modern life hasn't entirely passed the Himba people by. Here in the remote north of Namibia, they use mobile phones, though often with difficulty. Apart from mobiles, the Himba's way of life in the plains and hills of the Kowoko land region is little changed by time. The Himba are fiercely proud of their traditional way of life, but their remoteness and independence also make it very tough. So could a life app really help this ancient tribe? 800 kilometers south and a world away from the Himba is Findok, Namibia's capital. And at a restaurant on the outskirts of town, members of Windhoek's small tech community are making plans. Dalton Ashikoto is an entrepreneur who develops software applications for mobile phones. He's always up for a challenge, and there are a few tougher than designing a life app to help the Himba. Dalton's enlisted Lamek Amugongo, who's studying software engineering. Mobile is the future, but Android is leading. It'll be the first time that they've met Himba people in their homeland, in northwestern Namibia. We are going to travel to Kaupoland. It's 800 kilometers from here. We're going to go there. We have a week. We're going to meet the, uh, the Himba community. We're going to interview them on what technology they use and how they use them and to what extent. I don't know how, what I got myself into, but I'm up for the challenge. We're going to do it. 